Yo, what up? It's your boy Random Review, the strongest tanks, Labyrinth Raids. A tank with a rare 9999 resistance scare got kicked from the Heroes Party. That's basically the title, right? Oh, man. Anyways, um, what is this show about? It's basically an um, adventure slash video gamey. It's not an isekai, so don't worry about that. So it's pretty good though, actually. I was surprised. I was like a strongest tank with the level 9099 skill. What the hell? Anyways, they gets kicked from the hero party. Why? Uh, apparently, he has abilities within himself because people in this world get abilities um, that they can't. What do you call that? Inspect or identify without someone having the ability to identify and then the last person that had that died i don't know it gets a little weird because of that so he gets kicked out of party um later on he finds out why one of his abilities is he takes damage from everyone else that gets damaged and converts it to his uh, by the way it's called the shield life shield i forget what it's called so he takes their damage basically what a tank should be doing but uh it's a rare ability I guess no one else has it Eventually, he learns to use this ability because all the damage he takes can be converted into an attack, which is pretty cool. I was like, okay, it's kind of like a video game in that in sense. Uh, since he got kicked out of the Heroes Party, he has to go back home. He's doing all this adventuring and everything in the, in the world because of his sister. She's sick, so he wants to beat dungeons in order to get magical stones that could grant any kind of wish. And uh, party members try to help him out, uh, whether it is joining his party eventually, leaving the hero's party because he's an asshole, you name it, right? Uh, eventually, he does get a goes to back to his home village. He runs into a girl. She's a homunculi, which uh, I don't know if you guys know. Homunculi is basically a man-made human, uh, but this one has more, you know feelings and emotions so he takes her in and that basically starts a story in this in this great you know campaign to make his sister feel better eventually you learn that one of the bosses from a labyrinth is making these homunculi he has to be different bosses get his skills up in order to defeat this person and yeah that's basically your mmo you know adventure magical fantasy world of course, he does, you know, have a harem following him. The girls, barely cute girls, powerful attacks, uh, interchangeable companions, especially in dungeons. Apparently, you only have a certain finite amount of people in your group. I forget the number exactly. Was it five? I think so. I don't remember. But that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, once he beats a dungeon, he gets to control this dungeon and they're able to spawn monsters, just like some of the. Uh, other video games in our world and that we uh, that I play anyways where you're a dungeon master you spawn monsters for adventures to come in so that was pretty cool like it has little things here and there that I enjoyed and definitely would recommend this to someone that likes you know those kind of video games uh, a little more intrigue on abilities and homunculi and stuff like that it actually wasn't bad the intro was eh, not the best but what can you do nowadays with most of his music intros and openings but I still enjoyed the show and uh, definitely will check out a season two if they ever make it. Uh, I enjoyed it all the way through. I like the characters. I like the backstory of the homunculi. People don't trust them. It's your basic, you know, android, cyborgs, thing like that. So it's pretty cool for me. Uh, what would I give this one, huh? Let me think. I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching my reviews. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.